Okay. What do we got here? Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Hmm. You're saying I'm not allowed in here? Fine. Oh, who are you? Oh, I I've heard of you, I think. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? I'll give him a medicine glare. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> On your knees. <laughs> What's our problem with this guy again? <laughs> you saw another gith. Where? On the road, Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, what's going on, Lizelle? The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. So do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? Your dab. Hands of interrogation, so I need that skill again. What comes next? Zoru is an easy mark. Don't get complacent. Ch A thin shell requires little to crack it. I will apply more pressure should the situation demand. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Agreed. Tiefling? I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Oh, no, it's, uh... Ferun. And by purification... The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay, if you insist. Uh, we might help these guys out a bit. Oh, you got a prisoner here. What's up? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever have a problem, I'll step between. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill her, too! You! Move! Um... The garden might be useful for information. Lower the crossbow or I'll deliver you right to your brother. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. I've got my methods. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you teeth 
are all boring. Even your cages are boring. <laughs> Even your cages are boring. <laughs> Uh. Tiring business, isn't it? All this travel. And we've been out of like two days. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Well then, what, what do you have to say? We've been on the road together two days. for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils. I mean, a couple battles. Some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. In short, I've grown to trust you. That's very gratifying to you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What kind of condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. What happens if you don't? I'll spare you the finer details, but it begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if that for too long, catastrophe. Been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. Only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. <sighs> Where? Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of. So you're just fishing for loot. Please. I've better things to do with my time than hoodwink gullible adventurers out of their trinkets. I know that what I ask may seem unreasonable, but I promise I only make such a request because it is so incredibly important. Please. Trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. I'll use my uh, tadpole, super danger. Ooh, that didn't work. Eh, not worth wrong again. I'm afraid that's not going to work on me. Look, I appreciate your curiosity, but don't pursue this path. Let's agree on actions first. And explanations later. Yes? I'll help you, but I'm going to expect an explanation. Eventually. <laughs> Thank you. I see my trust in you was not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Prime for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Oh, and as far as that tadpole trickery goes, I really do trust you'll not be so untoward again. Oh, you peeps are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Didn't expect to see a drought in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Yes, she sent me. Ready to get out of here? Oh, this will be easy. Lovely. Yeah. Take me back to the tribe, and we'll tell the boss all about this pretty little place, so she can burn it to the ground. We'll be heroes, blessed by Priestess Gut, in the name of the Axolot. All right, I'll see what I can do. 
You won't regret it, promise. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs. Okay, let's see if we can talk to like the head druid. I'll give it a shot. Locked, eh? Let's. I mean, I can't. I mean, I can't reach it. Okay, we'll we'll come back to the goblin. Perhaps the goblin could leave us lead us back to like the goblin encounters or camp. Grumpy Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. The scowl on your face. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh. <laughs> there isn't a bit of color in those cheeks. Ethel, are you harsh? Cold? No, it's called being a feverish. drow. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. There's really no need. Sorry, love. I just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. Are you all right? I, I've... I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad the wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling understand oil. I guess but worry not I fixed him up and depending on the lighting he looks good as new my point is whatever ails you I promise I've seen worse something doesn't add up about this one don't tell her anything what is it Peckle? What's wrong? I'm fine. Afraid the goblins didn't kill me. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalark. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, <laughs> benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Fair enough. You're you're not actually not the person I wanted to talk to. Um, Shadowheart, what do you think of this lady? The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Okay. Um. Well, hello. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Don't make me urge you. Ooh, what's this? Looking at you. I haven't actually seen the druids yet. Where are they, I wonder? A secluded chamber. Sounds like a bag of holding. Ah, steps. Mm. All right, up we go. Emerald Grove. I'll be keeping an eye. Huh? 
Glad I worked out the jumping. People up ahead. Something's wrong. Can we jump on down? I will go where I wish. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something we'll what? never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Hold us there. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mine. The true soul, she will, she, she. <sighs> Edwin, Ed, please. He's with the Absolute now. A true soul, thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. What? Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Have I... Have I accidentally become a cult leader? What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. What happened to your brother, exactly? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Hmm. <sighs> Forget the Alba, you're still alive, so go. What? And, and just... Leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin you Curious. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs um. move with their own accord. There's something about it. Something you admit craves. This. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Your body guide you. Welcome to Tadfold now. Force your mind shut. You will not be influenced by the parasite. Just. Okay, come on. Come on. Drats! Um. Uh. No use. Compulsion. 
action takes over. Your actions are no longer your own. Um. Oh. What? No, 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 no. What am I doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. What? Where am I, map-wise? So am I... Am I back... Yeah, I'm back in, like, the normal outside world, I guess. Okay, we should probably go back to the grove. Okay, we gotta get to Kaga. Like, I probably can't make that jump back up. Thought I could, like, become someone else for a bit. Alright, let's go, Shed Arch. Life finds a way. And hopefully once we get to a loading zone, we'll, uh... Be able to have... Raven back. Otherwise, I guess we've just, uh, split the party. <laughs> For no good reason. <laughs> oh, mm, frame rate's dropping a bit. Hello. We've known enough grief this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. I will. Okay, so where is this person we're looking for? Over there? Nagita. Let's do this. Hello, Donnie. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got a little like magic show or something. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Oh. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That is a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Sure. Call it heads or tails. Uh, tails. Tails it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap too. Interested? Thanks for the ring. Hey, hold on. You got to pay for that. Getting paid in experience. <laughs> oh, no, she she wouldn't say that. She here you go. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Okay. Well, we'll buy the ring of resistance to ants. Seems useful. Thanks, kid. You bought something. Most everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. Just want to support a young businessman. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You realize your bag feels Wait. light. <laughs> <You just moved>. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Don't. See, uh, Shadowheart. See, this is why Raven is the protagonist of the game. We let you take over for like two seconds, and uh, and you, you immediately get robbed. 
<sighs> Come on, you, you gotta be more perceptive than that. Be more world weary. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corvus' judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. Whoa. How's Raven doing? Still here. Okay. Man, I should not have jumped down here. Great, I'm trapped in the vines. Well. So you're here? And this whole... The whole party is messed up. Uh, matter of fact, I could like, you, like go to camp and come back and maybe get a wreck. What's your, what are your stats? C can you handle this? You got negative charisma, but it was okay. Here, I'm gonna go to camp real quick, and I'm hoping when I come back, everyone will be like together in the same place. Because Raven is probably going to be better at doing what we need to do here. Okay, Raven. Let's find a, another way back. Oh, it's not far. I can't go there. I, c I can go wherever I please. Open up. Thank you. I can't believe I accidentally split the party. Uh, toggle group. Okay. Hey, shut up. What's going on here? You didn't get robbed by a kid, did you? Oh, it's really chugging. Oops. <laughs> okay. Where are you? Okay, you're here. Here, can you two come with the rest of the party? What do you mean you can't make it? How do you get over here in the first place if you can't make the jump? Come on, come on. group oh that's how you do that neat okay well, I guess you're gonna have to go around this way Lazel come, come with me tell me Lazel you say we might be purified at your crash what does that mean exactly Augusta will affix the stasis the purify to our heads its magic will quell the parasite Okay, good job, you two. You made it. Goblin 
contract. And far too many of them, too. What if you can make yourself not be in the party? Not that I want to. I'm just curious if that's a thing that you can do. Alright, go find Raven. These tieflings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Okay, well those two will be along soon, hopefully. Oh, sheesh. And this area, really not great for the frame range. Hey, you two. Welcome back. Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zephyrus can cleanse an embedded tadpole. I'll keep that in mind. Alright, come on guys. Let's deal with these druids. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fool's business and no boring either. Okay, hello. I've come to negotiate. her a chance you step back will not tolerate drow in here if it weren't for me you'd be over in my gums by now keep back force my hand and i'll show you its claws a moment giona what why would she allow one of them i i suppose so you apparently Korga wants to see you Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Well, I don't intend to make wrong moves, so, uh, off we go. Who are you? Nice hat. Do my eyes deceive me? A drow! Yes. Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. <sighs> sure. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. I'll give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare gem colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear. Was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? Th there wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed to notice the obvious... Excuse me. ...dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviath, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. 
I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, that doesn't I seem wise. Be careful. Hey. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion. <laughs> kind of would have pickpocket that from him right now. <laughs> Until we meet again. Uh, hello there. Would that we could Druids. So which one of you is in charge here? Oh, hello little snake. Hey, what are you doing? Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what? Wrath. A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely do it. Don't druids cherish harmony? Jailing the girl to serve nature's bounds. Uh, persuasion. I'm pretty good at persuasion. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Ooh, natural 20. Critical success. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpents shall feed. Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Hmm? What's up, Shadart? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Shadart, you alright? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just. Man, you and everyone else in this party, it seems. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay. Alright. 